Yo, what's up guys? I'm back and today we got another unboxing of a figure six scale. This is the Destro from G.I. Joe by the company 3-0. So it's not actually a hot toy, but I still rock with them because it is a super dope brand. And hey, they're the only one doing G.I. Joe. So let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. Check out that graphic right here. Got them look all, looking all villainous. Flip it over to the side, headshot. Over here, you can see that he comes with a gauntlet, a briefcase, pistol, and he's got the, the bling bling. And let's go over here, we got the hologram. Letting you know this is legit. G.I. Joe, Destro, 1-6 scale. And we got this right here, check this out. See-through. So you can see Destro just waiting, waiting to be unleashed on the world. Give the Joes all kind of problems. But anyways, let's go ahead and set this thing up and show you the figure. All right, let's go ahead and get this figure open. Careful not cutting the box, cause you know I like to keep the boxes. I see some people don't like to keep them, but for me, I can't see myself throwing away a box. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Y'all crazy. All right, so let's go ahead and unleash this figure on the world. All right, so right off the bat, we got the manual, which I, in my experience, have found that these uh, three zero figures come with a lot of accessories, especially for the G.I. Joe line, way more than you would typically see with um, Hot Toys. So in some cases you need this to like figure out what's all going on. So we'll go ahead and keep that. And here we go, here we go. It's Destro. Now I've been waiting for this figure for a long time, ever since I saw him. Because as a kid, I was definitely a G.I. Joe fan to the max. We got here three pairs of hands. Three pairs of hands. We got the briefcase. It's a good size, look at this thing, man. This is dope. <laughs> you can take over the world with this right here. Mars, if you've seen the movie, you know what that is. That's their little, uh, you know, terrorist organization. Uh, if you've seen the comic books, actually, fun, fun fact is um, Cobra Commander started uh, his whole organization with multi-level marketing. Believe that or not, multi-level marketing, it was basically Amway. That's how Cobra Commander started. And check this out. This is what I want to see. The jewels. Yo, dude is dope. Gauntlet, guns, guns galore, extra pegs. All right, all right, enough talking. Let's go ahead and get this thing out. Oh, man, check this out. So I'm now noticing he's already got hands on him. How was it? I'm tripping. So he's got a total of four hands. Four hands. For like one, I think this figure is like 150. I'm telling you guys, you guys are you guys are sleeping, sleeping on a three zero. I could definitely smell the plastic from this dude though. This one thing about the three zeros, they got a heavy plastic smell when you get them out. But anyways, man, <laughs> look at this dude. Yo, look at Chrome Dome. Look at that. <laughs> Yo, this is gonna look so dope. All right, all right, all right. We gotta set them up. All right, before I go ahead and set them all up, I want to go ahead and show you guys the detail on some of these accessories. Check out the pistol with the silencer. Look at that, man. For the money, I don't think this company could be beat. Here we go with a 1911 with a laser. freaking amazing and check this out the slide slides <laughs> i wonder on this one does the yup check it out i knew look the magazine actually detaches and you got rounds in there <laughs> oh man this is too dope this is too dope all right and then finally we have the gauntlet uh, launching rockets from his wrist. This is what we all fantasized as a kid when we were like shooting bottle rockets out of our hands, 
risking our uh, safety. <laughs> uh, check that out. The detail is impressive for the money. It's just impressive general, to be honest with you. But for the money, it's like, whoa, how did they do this? But they do it. They do it. And finally, the briefcase. Let's see if this thing opens up. Ah, yeah, it does. Mars. And we got more stuff in here. We got extra rockets. Looks like mines. And what are these? Cartridges of bullets, I guess, or something like that. Dude is going to be a menace with this. <laughs> Guy is going to be a menace. All right, now that I got them all set up, take a look at Destro in his full glory. This dude is sick. <laughs> look at him, look at him. Pose him right here with a little cocky tilt to the head. He ain't for that mess. He's looking at you in disdain. Look at this dude. He is looking at you like, bro, you really gonna try me? Don't you see the jewels? I dare you try to snatch it. He ain't for that mess. Ah <laughs> oh, man. Destro's like, yo, I stand on business. Check out the briefcase. Now I will say that setting them up was a little bit difficult. The pegs for the hands, the swappable hands, they're really like um tight because they've been just sitting in that box. So that was difficult. And learning how to put on the briefcase on his hand, it kind of has like a weird system where it kind of like detaches on one side. But I got it and got him set up. This just looks amazing. Check out the detail on the fabric, the zipper. He's got the belt with the M from Mars. Got him holstering his weapon, the boots got the armor on him now check out the plating on everything everything pops in camera and let me tell you in real life it pops too so let's go ahead and flip this dude over take a look at the back of the figure all right so now we got him flipped over dude has been hitting the gym he's got the cobra back no pun intended destro's got the cobra back all right check out the belt with the plating He's got the uh, little compartments to put ammo and stuff like that. He's got the whole uh, thigh holster going down to the back of the boots. This is just a crazy figure, man. This is probably going to be one of my favorite, if not my favorite, three zero figures. Because I got others. I haven't shown y'all, but I do have others. All right. So now we got on the wrist rocket, the gauntlet with an alternative pose. Look at him. He's like, yo, you're gonna really try and test me? Do you know what I got in this briefcase? Don't play with me, kid. This is a super dope figure. Can't fumble the bag. I think I'm gonna keep them in this standard pose right here to avoid any creasing or anything extreme like that. But overall, this figure is freaking amazing. And I got another one coming. You know, I, I'll let you uh, guess who it is. But nonetheless, thanks for checking out the video. Peace. Thank you.